Hello, welcome back. So, let's proceed now to the second part of our lesson for Module 1 about Microscope. So, nandito na tayo sa what is it. So, this is all about the history. So, I'm going to show you the pictures. So, here's the picture of the development of the microscope. So, this is about the history of the microscope for the what is it portion. So, it started at the 1590s. So, basically 1595 where the first compound microscope was produced by... Uh, the Dutch eyeglass makers Hans and Zacharias Janssen and followed by 1625 okay it's not mentioned here Galileo Galilei was the one credited of producing the comp um, I mean of inventing the first compound microscope. So, si Hans Zacharias Jans and Zacharias Jansen, sila yung nag-produce ng first compound microscope. Pero yung nag-invent was, uh, the invention was credited by Galileo Galilei. Galileo Galilei was the one credited as the one who invented the first compound microscope. Kasi na-explore siya sa heaven using the, his telescope. And in 1665, so ito basically yung order, ano? So, at, in 1665, Robert Hooke coined the term cell. So, siya yung um, may access sa mga, sa mga maraming microscope na available sa Royal Society of London. So, he examined everything he could get his hands on. And... When he examined a very fine slice of cork, na may nakita siyang nagresemble ng small empty rooms, and na recall niya, na reminded siya sa mga rooms sa monastery, that's why he called it cells. So that's why it's the discovery of cell was uh, on sixteen in 1665 by Robert Hooke, and followed by 1674. Okay, so this is the microscope this time. So Anton van Leeuwenhoek, one of the first scientists able to observe bacteria movement in a single drop of panned water. And 1830, okay, 1830, Joseph Jackson Lister was credited for his prototype of the compound microscope. And for 1872, Ernst Abby provided the calculations that allowed for the maximum resolution in the microscopes possible. Okay, that's for 1872. Then 1903. So basically, ito ng microscope sa 1903, ano? Richard Sigmundi developed the ultra microscope. And in 1932, Fritz Zernike invented the phase contrast microscope and in the 19th century charles spencer began producing fine optical microscope so yan ang topic natin so what is it portion so that's the summary and now let's proceed to the what's more portion so nandito na tayo sa what's more so basically for the what's more portion you are going to write in he in this time zone travel from the past to the present activity those um i mentioned in our discussion so what is it so it started so 1590 father and son duo zacharias and hans Janssen invented the first compound microscope then it would be followed by sa 1625 no galileo galileo was the one credited of inventing the first compound microscope. Then dito sa, after that is 1665, dito siya. Dito natin i-write si, ano, 1665. Magdraw muna tayo. So, basically dito. So, 1665, uh, itong si Robert Hooke coined the term cell. Okay? 
So, yan, uh, okay, example lang ko ha. Example, coin. The term cell. And yung 1674, after that is nandito si, ano, Anton Van Leeuwenhoek, who were able to observe, was able to observe bacteria movement in a single drop of pond water. And pagkatapos ay, uh, pagkaman, uh, pagkatapos ng 1674, 1830, so basically dito na naman kayo mag-draw. Joseph Jackson na naman. Then, 1872. Dito yun, 1872. Ernst Abbey provided the calculation. And for 1903, Richard Sigmundi developed the ultra microscope. 1932, yung face contrast microscope. And, yes, in the 19th century, Si Charles Spencer began to this in fine optical microscope. So that's all about what's more. Now let's proceed to the next part. Alright, so dito sa what I have learned portion na naman tayo. So all you have to do is you're going to write the contributions here of the following persons or personalities. So we have Robert Hooke coined the term cell. Okay. And for Hans Zachary, uh, Hans and Zachary S. Johnson produced the first compound microscope. And for Anton van Leeuwenhoek, so sila yung na, or shall yung naka observe, observe bacteria movement. Observe bacteria movement in a single drop of water. Okay, move lang natin ito. Like that. And for Richard Sigmundi, siya yung nag-develop. Okay. Nag-develop sa ultra microscope. Okay. So that's it. Now let's proceed to the next part, the what's new portion. Alright, so for the what's new portion, uh, we're going to name the parts of the microscope. So it, start with the, it starts with this eyepiece. Okay, ito yung eyepiece natin. Nandito yung eyepiece. Oh, I'm sorry. It should not have this only. Okay, nandito yung eyepiece natin. Hindi makita sa ating highlight. Okay, eyepiece yan. Then, ito yung body tube. And, this is the course adjustment. Itong medyo malaking circle. At ito ang arm. Itong maliit na circle, ito yung fine adjustment. Ito yung base. Ito, base. And, this one is the mirror. The diaphragm, ito nasa ilalim. Okay, nasa ilalim. Then, the stage clip, itong clip para hindi mahulog yung specimen, or yung tinitingnan natin. At itong stage is itong nilagyan ng specimen, nalagyan ng specimen natin later on. Then, itong objective lens, itong tatlo, tatlo ang makita natin. So, ito yung mga objective lens. Then, revolving nose piece, ito yung i, ano natin, we are going to adjust kung anong objective lens ang gamitin natin, high power ba or low power. Ito yung revolving nose piece. Alright. So, dito na tayo sa... Okay. So, sinabi ko na yon Ang parts. We were already able to name the parts. Now, let's proceed to the what is it. Para hindi na tayo maubusan ng oras. So, dito natin... Um, we're going to learn the fun oh yes, function of the microscope and the terms used. So microscope comes from the ancient Greek micros meaning small and scopian, which means to look. It's a tool which can help you see tiny objects and living organisms. It makes them look bigger. The science of investigating small objects and structures using such an instrument is called microscopy.
So, doon sa ating what I know. What makes a microscope determine how clearly a small object can be viewed? So, we have magnification and the other one is the resolution or resolving power. For the magnification, it describes how much larger an object appears when viewed. For the resolving or, yes, resolution, the capacity of a microscope to distinguish finer details of an image. So, itong magnification, uh, meron tayong computation dito. For example, yung ginamit na, uh, na lens is 10 times and yung objective is 40 times. So, ang gawin lang natin is i-multiply lang natin yung 10 at saka 40. So, 400. Then, you copy lang the common variable x. 400 x or 400 times total ang magnification niya. Then, there are different types of microscope. Dito na tayo. So, we have the optical microscope and the electro electron microscope. For the optical microscope, we also have two types. We have the compound, which uses two or more double convex lenses to magnify the object. And it can magnify object up to 1,200 times. For the stereo microscope, it can magnify up to 100 times and gives three-dimensional image. It is known as a dissecting microscope. For the electron microscope, we also have this. By the way, it can magnify up to 2 million times. So, electron microscope could have transmission electron microscope which um, the image magnified and focused onto an imaging device such as fluorescent screen to be examined in fine detail. So the other one is scanning electron microscope where electron beam bounces off from the surface of the sample. Thus, the image provided is three-dimensional. Then we have the parts and function of the microscope. So, eyepiece, dito tayo mag-look through sa microscope for the body tube. Ito yung connected sa eyepiece. And for the revolving nose piece, ito yung nag-hold ng mga objective lenses. It is movable as I've said earlier. And for the arm, it is the part connecting the base and to the head of the eyepiece tube. So, it gives support to the head of the microscope. For the objectives or objective lenses, so we have the scanner, which is 3 times, 4 times, 5 times. Then, you have the low power objective, which is 10 times or 12 times. Then, the higher power objective, which marked, which is marked as 40 times, 43 times, or 60 times. Then, we have the stage, which is the platform that holds the specimen, as I said earlier. Then, the stage clips holds the specimen slides in place. Then we have the diaphragm. It controls the amount of light to yung nasa ilalim. And the course adjustment focuses image under the scanner and low power objectives. Then the fine adjustment, ito yung mag-focus image under the high power and oil immersion objectives. Then the light source gives light for the specimen and the base supports the microscope. Dito na tayo sa what's more. Okay, so let's now proceed to the what's more portion. Dito na tayo. So, i-post nilang itong video para makita nyo ang ating answers. So, hindi ko nalang iisa-isahin para hindi na tayo maubusan ng oras. Proceed na tayo dito sa what I have learned. Pakipost na lang rin dito ng, sa ating video para makita nyo yung mga answers. And go over na lang kayo. And itong what I can do, kaya nyo to. Sa assessment, nakahighlight na rin ang mga answers natin. Pakipost na lang ng video. Okay? Para hindi tayo maubusan ng oras. And for the additional activities, so i-encircle lang natin ang parts ng microscope inside the word search box. So, may nakita tayong base, arm, diaphragm, stage, and fine adjustment, course adjustment, then we have the revolving nose piece and the stage clips. So, yan lang ating ating um, topic for module 1. So, dito nagtatapos ang ating part 2 ng module 1 about microscope. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye. See you in our next uh, video tutorials.